We're pressing for answers after a little girl was allegedly sexually assaulted at a Valley Elementary School, but are hitting a dead end with Hidalgo County. New Center 23's Derek Garcia has been on the phone all day trying to get answers. Derek. Yeah, good evening, Brenda. What's not happening are records being released. Today, I've spent much of the day calling two courts and Hidalgo County Clerk's Office trying to find out the most basic information. This was the scene outside of La Jolla ISD's Tabasco Elementary where a five-year-old girl was sexually assaulted back in April. A 14-year-old student mentor with the district youth program took the girl into a restroom and sexually assaulted her. Monday, as the protests went on outside, inside the district held a press conference and in that press conference, the district said that the case was resolved in a juvenile court. And in a press release geared towards transparency, the district gave numbers five months after the allegations surfaced. However, the case number that was given by the district was for a protective order. And the case number we've been denied would likely have the arrest affidavit, the complaint, and the statements are not being released at this time. The teen was given one year probation for assaulting the five-year-old. However, we don't know if that was a reduced sentence or what the specific charge was that brought on the one-year probation. And the parents, who were not informed of the assault, are outraged. Why did it take so long for us as parents to find out what's going on in our schools? We, we do leave the kids here, what, seven to eight hours a day, so they're in the safety, the care of the teacher, the principal. While the protest happened outside, this was the district's response. If you were not notified, that means that you were not an appropriate person that you need to be notified. Parents have started a petition to have the chief of police, the superintendent, and the student services staff resign from their positions as parents state that they have failed to keep students safe and inform parents of a serious crime that happened on their campus. Brenda? Derek, thank you. There is more on this case. Next month, there is a protective order hearing. We're working to be in the courtroom as this continues to play out.